Howdy folks, it's that time of year again. Yeah, lawn tractors, RVs, uh, dune buggies, and hot rod projects. Anything that's been laying around all winter might need a boost on that battery. So today we're going to talk about Gulu. Monday I want to talk about another wood tool that we're going to test from Vivor. Yeah, so make sure you tune in on Monday for that one because that's going to be very interesting. But today we're talking about Gulu and Gulu is a power pack jumper for your car your truck, your airplane, uh, your lawnmower in this case. Also, we're going to test it today on something that they told me this thing can do. We're going to find out. So eh, hang out in the garage with me today. We're going to do this. Yeah, before we even start, I got to thank Gulu for sending this over to us today so we could check this out. But the very first thing that a Gulu comes in the packaging is that it's fully charged before use. So this thing comes out of the box ready to go. They are that confident about their product. This is the new Titan series, the GP3000, and it's a jump starter, of course, but it also is a power supply for, you know, your laptop and anything like that you might need to plug in. Plus it charges off a of USB and it's a type C here, which I guess you get both cables for. So you can go from a type C to a type C or a type C to a, a the older style now, <coughs> USB. I hope we keep these USBs around for a while. Uh, got an awful lot of goodies that use that. Also, there's a set of jumper cables right here with a nice handle for a plug. So you can plug into the side of the unit instead of, you know, for a lot of them, you know, come off the end. Gulu comes off the side here, which is really convenient because then, then you can put this thing and set it aside while you're doing your jump. Also, it's a solid button. You hit the button, you turn the power on, you turn the power off kind of thing. So love the features of the Gulu. The Gulu is just, seems like it's just the best one on the market, but you also get this, which is a little output plug. And it's uh, up to 15 volts at 10 amps, which is really a good power supply. You can plug this in and you have this nice little cigarette lighter plug to plug in some, you know, accessories if you need something. I use uh, one of these for portable lighting sometimes, which I guess I'll show that to you later today. But right now, what Gulu's told me uh, recently with this particular power pack is that the car can have no battery and using the boost mode, you can go ahead and start the car. So we're going to, uh, I guess we're going to put that to the test but we'll also crank the lawnmower up for a minute with it to test it but uh, I also want to show you the power supply because I, I said I use this as a portable power supply from uh, some of my lighting in here sometimes and uh, it just this thing uh, just it's just handy to have around as a, it's sort of like a tool so yeah so like I was saying one of the things I use Gulu for is a portable power pack and this lighting that I use in the studio sometimes for product shows and stuff this is a LED, it's very powerful actually. They're really cool for product, like to add lighting here. Look at that, you know, add some lighting. This is powered off the Gulu and it comes with just an a USB plug. But this will extend up to four feet long and you can set two of these up for wherever you need to if you need to put some extra lighting on your products. And, and just turn it back off. And the Gulu is powering it and that's what I use it for. A lot of times around the studio, I use the Gulu for powering my studio lighting portably so that I can put lights wherever I need to when I'm you know shooting uh, anything. I will provide a link in the description below where you can find this Titan series Gulu but uh, heck you know what I'll even provide a link below where you can find this crazy lighting that I use. I you know I have two of these and they are great for when you need to put some extra light on something. Also uh, actually when I'm working around a dark corner or something uh, a lot of times I'll bring one of these and use it because this will extend up to four feet so they're kind of handy to have around. They're not expensive, but they are a great little item. Now, the Google automatically shut off because obviously nothing is happening. So that's just one of the crazier things that I, I do use the Gulu for, but I thought I'd show it, share it with you guys today. Now, let's go out there and uh, let's start that tractor up. Speaking of bad lighting, we're out in the barn right now. I don't have any lights. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next few weeks. I think we'll tackle some lighting out here. I have no lighting in the barn whatsoever right now. Anyways, I've hooked the Gulu up. The minute I plugged the jumper into the Gulu, it recognized it and came on immediately, powered the Gulu up. It also shows me a green light on my jumper that everything is good and ready to go. I've connected my two cables to the battery. And so now all we gotta do is hit the key to the tractor. Uh, I'm gonna do this standing off the tractor. I'm not sure if she'll start up right away or not, but she will. I'm sure she'll crank on a Gulu. Yep, yeah, there you go. If I turn the uh, choke on, the motor will, will fire up immediately. Okay, so what I've done is uh, I've disconnected the battery completely from the Jeep and I've got, I'm on just the Gulu. They tell me that when I set this on boost, which is on this control package right here, 
that I can go ahead and start the Jeep without a battery. Uh, so we're going to put it on boost and we're going to try to start the Jeep. I've also got landscapers working out here today. Uh, no luck, yeah. While we're back in the shop, wow, what a great power pack. And I think I should have mentioned motorcycles because yeah, they sit up all winter too. And their batteries are, even when you trickle charge them sometimes, they seem to be kind of, you know, dead come springtime and the big day you want to, you know, fire it up. Also, you could carry this on the bike if you needed to. I just think how much power that would give you to be able to crank the bike if you did have a problem. The also, uh, item here, the, the Gulu, also comes with a, the flashlight. Now the flashlight has quite a few uh, different modes and you can also flash SOS. There's the thunder and lightning here. We got rid of the landscaper, now we have thunder and lightning going on. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> anyway, uh, to carry this easily in the car, the motorcycle, the RV, whatever, but it was just a great power system. If you're going camping, RVing, something like that even, again, you can charge your cell phone off of it or run your laptop, something like that. It's just a really nice big hunk of power to have with you. The boost cycle started the Jeep without the battery. That's kind of, uh, I wouldn't do that very often if I didn't you know, ever, I don't think. I think it's pretty hard, although, again, there was there's no heat uh, on this, and there was almost no heat on the cables. So the Gulu cranked that Jeep up with no battery really easily. And they said it would. The people at Gulu said, hey, you know, put it on boost, take the battery out of the way, and just crank up the Jeep. Boom. Yeah, there it goes again. So fantastic. What a great product. Now, uh, we have a giveaway today, and we also have another item to give away so we need to get over to that but uh, again gotta thank Gulu for sending this over it comes in a nice carry package where everything will fit in here so you can carry the whole thing with you and like I said that's just I use it a lot around here like I said for the lighting especially so it's just great to have but also for the uh, tractor <clears throat> right now to get it started when I want to cut some grass let's get to the draw for goodies yes are we ready? I think we're ready. Yeah, let's get to this. Oh boy. I lost the tickets. Where are they? <laughs> it's been that kind of a day around here. Just a second. Okay, I'm back. Got a couple of hundred entries. Little tickets. We're going to throw them in the... Oops, we're going to throw them in the hat today. And mix them up. In the cowboy hat. This is Texas style, y'all. Okay. <laughs> mix them tickets up and see who's got it. I'm going to make a prediction. I would think uh, there was about 90% of the names I saw going on the tickets today were uh, people in the past that have put their name in for different things. So uh, we're drawing for the top test uh, gas leak detector. And so if your wife farts in the living room sometime in the night, you can put this detector on her and you can tell exactly where that came from and how strong it was. Ooh. Man, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble over that one. Yeah, I couldn't help it. Anyways, let's get these tickets mixed up and see who's getting that. And then next week on Thursday, we're going to draw for something else. But in the meantime, let's draw for this. Oop, there's a ticket escaping again. I want to try to mix these up somehow. Uh, so I have a feeling that whoever's won before is probably going to be the winner this time. But let's let's see who we got. Oops, upside down. Oh, beautiful. Actually, I have seen this gentleman's name in before, but I don't think he's gotten anything from us. Uh, Gary in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Congratulations, Gary. You're getting a, a sniffer. <laughs> and we're going to mail that out to you. So I don't think Gary, I've seen his name in there, but I don't think he's ever gotten anything from us before. So uh, I guess my prediction was a little off, but maybe next week. Okay. Now, in the meantime, we got to set up for the next draw, so let's get the hat out of here. Next Thursday, we're going to give away another moisture meter because we have one. <laughs> yeah. And so how do we do that? Well, you're going to write to uh, ctrewards at gmx.com, an email, to enter into this contest to win the moisture meter. And let's see, one uh, per household. Now, and the subject line of the email uh, we're going to write top tests. That's going to be our subject so that we know that that's what you're entering for. 
and in the body of the letter just your name and address we burn and delete everything afterwards so your name your information is never passed on to anybody nobody ever sees it and we go in the trash and we delete that too and we go in the deleted files and delete the deleted files on the system so that there is no trace of you so the cia the nsa they'll never find you okay don't worry about it in the meantime you can put in for this and next thursday we'll have a draw for the moisture meter from top test i just it, i got two of them so it was like well we, we may as well just give one away so next thursday that's what we're giving away monday we're going to do a wood tool from vivor and they're going to put this thing to a test that's kind of uh, something i thought up so we'll we'll see how that goes it, it might be a disaster you never know in the meanwhile time thank you everyone for entering the contest as always every week and uh congratulations gary out there in myrtle beach man uh Good deal. I'm glad you, I'm glad to see you're getting something. I, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So now, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you don't miss out on free stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. <laughs> Over and out. <laughs>